welcome okay so in the previous video we did this problem and we solved the first part of it which is partial z partial x now we are going to solve the second part of this problem which is simply obtaining partial z partial y for this given implicit function okay so let's try it and see now so i have x cubed exponential y plus z okay minus y sine x minus z sine x minus z equals zero so now i am to find what partial z partial y so if i'm differentiating z now with respect to y it means i'm going to simply what hold x as a constant it means i'm going to hold x as a constant that means i will treat x the same way i will treat every other constant in differentiation okay so let's do it now and see first of all these two variables s cubed and exponential y plus z are a product of two functions so like i said in the previous video it means you are going to apply product rule towards differentiate these two so once again if i have z to be what a product of two functions and i want to now differentiate z with respect to y the law simply says from product rule hold this as constant so i simply have u now i'm differentiating v which is here with respect to y plus now you hold v as constant differentiate u partially with respect to y so i have this okay so i'm going to now apply this rule to what differentiating these two variables first first thing first that means i'm going to consider x cubed to be what u and then i'm going to consider exponential y plus z to be simply v so the law says if i want to differentiate these two functions first of all keep u constant which means keep x cubed constant so i'll simply keep x cubed as a constant then i'm differentiating exponential y plus z okay and i said in the previous video as well to differentiate an exponential function simply what differentiate the power first now i'm differentiating with respect to y so i have to differentiate the power first with respect to y use that derivative to multiply what the exponential function that gives you the derivative of what the whole exponential function okay let's do that and see now the power of the exponential function is simply what y plus z and i want to differentiate this function with respect to y so i see that this is y so i can differentiate y with respect to y if i differentiate y normally i will have one but this is actually what partial y all over partial y that is to say differentiating y with respect to y plus i have z here so i have to differentiate z which is partial z all over partial y and this is what we have been asked to find so i have to differentiate z with respect to y differentiate y with respect to y so, so this becomes the derivative of what the power of the exponential function if i have this derivative all i need to do is simply what multiply this derivative towards the exponential function itself y plus z this becomes the full derivative of the exponential function okay so i'll simply put this here keep x cubed differentiate exponential y plus z that simply gave us what this so i simply have in place of this derivative now i simply have um partial y all over partial y which is one okay plus partial z all over partial y okay multiplying by the exponential function y plus z so i have this so that's the first case keep x keep constant differentiate the exponential function what we've done now you keep the exponential com function constant is simply x which is simply exponential y plus z keep it constant now differentiate s cubed with respect to y but since i am looking for partial derivative with respect to y it means i'm going to now treat s cubed as what well, a constant because x is a different variable from y and there's no y attached to x so therefore if i differentiate s cubed i will simply have what zero because the derivative of every constant is simply what zero so this is now simply multiplying by zero so i have this so that becomes the derivative of what the first two functions okay so i move over to the next part put down my minus okay let me open a, a square bracket so i put down my minus now i have y multiplying sine x minus z so which means i'm also going to apply what product to, to differentiate these two functions since y is multiplying sine x minus z 
I'll still apply product true. So from product true, first of all, I'll keep y as constant, differentiate sine x minus z with respect to y. Then again, I'll keep sine x minus z as constant, then differentiate what? y with respect to y. That's the product rule. So let's start now. We keep y as constant, simply y. Now we want to differentiate sine x minus z. And I said to differentiate a trig function, here is what you do. First of all, differentiate what? The angle in front of the trig function. The trig function I have here is simply sine x minus z. So to differentiate this now, I have to first of all differentiate the angle. And the angle is simply x minus z. So I differentiate this angle, remember, with respect to y. Because we are looking for partial z, partial y. Notice here that this is x and there is no y attached to this. So the derivative of this x becomes what? Zero. Because I am going to consider x now as what? A constant. So its derivative becomes zero. But I have minus z here. So I can differentiate minus z and I will simply have minus partial z all over partial y. So this becomes the derivative of the angle x minus z. Now, use this derivative to what? Multiply the what? The derivative of the trig function itself. That gives you the derivative of the whole function. If I've obtained the derivative of the angle, use it to multiply the derivative of the trig function. The trig function is sine. Derivative of sine is simply what? Cos. So that means I'm simply going to multiply this value by what? Cos x minus z. So this becomes the whole derivative for what sine x minus z so therefore from the rule keep y constant which i have done then differentiate sine x minus z and that simply gives us minus partial z partial y cos x minus z so i have this okay now plus you now keep sine x minus z constant simply sine okay i think i can take here off Okay, now you keep sine x minus z constant, simply sine x minus z, then you differentiate y. And if I differentiate y with respect to y, I will simply have partial y all over partial y, which is same thing as what? 1. And the whole of this is equal to 0. So I have this. Okay. Alright, so let's now evaluate. I have x cubed. Okay, into here, of course, partial y over partial y is simply what? 1. Okay, plus I have their partial z all over partial y. Okay, multiplying by exponential y plus z. Okay, here I have exponential y plus z multiplying by 0. So that automatically becomes 0. That side is off. I have here minus, so I bring down here, y into... I have minus partial z all over partial y, okay, cos x minus z, okay, plus, of course, here, partial y over partial y is simply 1. So I simply have sine x minus z multiplies 1, which still gives us plus sine x minus z. The whole of this is equal to 0, okay? So I can now expand these brackets. I have x cubed multiplied by 1 and then exponential yz multiplies 1. That simply gives us s, s cubed exponential y plus z, okay, multiplying by 1 gives us this. Same thing here, s cubed multiplies partial z partial y and then exponential y plus z multiplies partial z partial y. We simply have plus x cubed exponential y plus z multiplying partial z all over partial y okay here okay let me expand this bracket now with this negative sign minus multiplies this term i simply have minus y okay partial z all over partial y cos x minus z okay and then minus multiplies by plus sign simply gives us minus sign x minus z and the whole of this is equal to zero okay now i need to find partial derivative of z with respect to y so i see partial z partial y here i also see partial z partial y here so i can factor it out between these two variables and if i do that i will simply have 
bring down my x cube exponential y plus z okay there is partial z partial y here there is also partial z partial y here so factor it out i will simply have um plus okay open the brackets x cube exponential y plus z okay minus y which is this cos um, x minus z the whole of this multiplies by partial z all over partial y okay then i'm left with simply minus sine x minus z and this is equal to zero now to make partial z partial y subject i have to send these two terms s cubed exponential y plus z and minus sine x minus z over to this side of the equation so uh so that this man will remain here on this part of the equation all right so s cubed exponential y plus z crosses here becomes negative so i simply have on this side of the equation i will now have s cubed exponential y plus z that's s cubed exponential y plus z minus y cos x minus z minus y cos x minus z okay multiplying by um, partial z all over partial y and this is now equal to let's say minus sine s minus z over here negative sine cos and equal to sine becomes positive i simply have sine x minus z also we send um s cube exponential y plus z over here positive sign crosses and equal to sign becomes negative so i simply have minus x cube exponential y plus z okay so to make partial z partial y subject simply divide through by what these um, variables here that simply implies that partial derivative of z with respect to y is simply equal to we have there sign x minus z okay minus s cube exponential y plus z all over the whole of this which is s cube exponential y plus z minus y cos x minus z all right so this becomes the partial derivative of that function with respect to y all right guys i hope you find this video very interesting please if you do i would really like to hear your thoughts in the comment section don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and of course i will see you in the next video with more thrilling problems on implicit functions of multiple variables thanks guys and cheers